Welcome everybody, this is Alan with Daily Armor of God. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all doing well. This is reading the Old Testament in 88 days. We're on day 81. Today we'll be reading Ezekiel 9 through 17. Let's get started in Ezekiel 9. Verse 1. He cried also in mine ears with a loud voice, saying, Cause them that have charge over the city to draw near, even every man with his destroying weapon in his hand. And behold, six men came from the way of the higher gate which lieth toward the north, and every man a slaughter weapon in his hand, and one man among them was clothed with linen, with a rider's inkhorn by his side. They went in and stood beside the brass and altar, and the glory of the Elohim of Israel was gone up from the cherub whereupon he was, to the threshold of the house, and he called to the man clothed with linen, which had the writer's inkhorn by his side. And Yahweh said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh, and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And the others he said in mine hearing, Go ye after him through the city, and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women, but come not near any man whom is the mark. And it began at my sanctuary. Then they began at the ancient men which were before the house. And he said unto them, Defile the house, and fill the courts of the slain. Go ye forth. And they went forth and slew in the city. And it came to pass, while they were slaying them, and I was left, that I fell upon my face, and cried, and said, Ah, Lord Elohim, wilt thou destroy all the residue of, of Israel in thy pouring out of thy fury upon Jerusalem? Then said he unto me, The iniquity of the house of Israel and Judah is exceeding great, and the land is full of blood, and the city full of perverseness. For they say, Yahweh hath forsaken the earth, and Yahweh seeth not. And as for me also, mine eye shall not spare, Neither will I have pity, but I will recompense their way upon their head. And behold, the man clothed with linen, which had the inkhorn by his side, reported the matter, saying, I have done as thou hast commanded me. Ezekiel 10 Then I looked, and behold, in the firmament that was above the head of the cherubims, there appeared over them as it were a sapphire stone, as the appearance of the likeness of a throne. He spake unto the man clothed with linen, and said, Go in between the wheels, even under the cherub, and fill thine hand with the coals of fire from between the cherubs, cherubims, and scatter them over the city. And he went in my sight. Now the cherubims stood on the right side of the house. When the man went in, the cloud filled the inner court. Then the glory of Yahweh went up from the cherub and stood over the threshold of the house, and the house was filled with cloud, and the court was full of the brightness of Yahweh's glory. The sound of the cherubim's wings was heard even to the outer court as the voice of the Almighty Elohim when he speaketh. And it came to pass that when he had commanded the man clothed with the linen, saying, Take fire from between the wheels, from between the cherubims, then he went in and stood beside the wheels. And one cherub stretched forth his hand from between the cherubims unto the fire that was between the cherubims, and took thereof, and put it into the hands of him that was clothed with linen, who took it and went out. There appeared in the cherubims the form of a man's hand under their wings. And when I looked, behold, to the four wheels by the cherubims, one wheel by one cherub, and the other wheel by another cherub, and the appearance of the wheels was as the color of a barrel stone. As for their appearances, the four had one likeness, as if a wheel had been in the midst of a wheel. Then they went, they went upon their four sides, and they turned not as they went, but to the place whither the head looked, they followed it. They turned not as they went, and the whole body, and their backs, and their hands, and their wings, and the wheels were full of eyes round about, even the wheels that they had, they four had. As for the wheels, it was cried unto them in my hearing, O wheel! Every one had four faces. The first face was the face of a cherub, and the second face was the face of a man, and the third face of a, of a lion, and the fourth face of an eagle. And the cherubims were lifted up. This is the living creature that I saw by the river Chebar. And when the cherubims went, the wheels went by them. And when the cherubims lifted up their wings to mount up from the earth, the same wheels also turned not from beside them. When they stood, these stood. And when they were lifted up, these lifted up themselves also. For the spirit of the living creature was in them. Then the glory of Yahweh departed from off the threshold of the house and stood over the cherubims. And the cherubims lifted up their wings and mounted up from the earth in my sight. 
when they went out, the wheels also were beside them, and every one stood at the door of the east gate of Yahweh's house, and the glory of the Elohim of Israel was over them above. This is the living creature that I saw under the Elohim of Israel by the river of Chebar, and I knew that they were the cherubims. Everyone had four faces apiece, and, and every one four wings in the likeness of the hands of a man who were under their wings. The likeness of their faces was the same faces which I saw by the river of Chebar. Their appearances and themselves, they went every one straight forward. Ezekiel 11. Moreover, the Spirit lifted me up and brought me to the east gate of Yahweh's house, which looketh eastward, and behold, at the door of the gate five and twenty men, among whom I saw Jazaniah the son of Azurim, Pelatiah the son of Benaiah, princes of the people. Then said he unto me, Son of man, these are the men that devise mischief and give wicked counsel in this city, which say it is hot, it is not near, let us build houses, this city is the cauldron, and we be the flesh. Therefore prophesy against them, prophesy, O son of man. And the Spirit of Yahweh fell upon me, and said unto me, Speak, thus saith Yahweh. Thus have ye said, O house of Israel, for I know the things that come into your mind, every one of them. Ye have multiplied your slain in the city, and ye have filled the streets thereof with the slain. Therefore thus saith the Lord Elohim, Your slain whom ye have laid in the midst of it, they are the flesh, and the city is the cauldron, but I will bring you forth out of the midst of it. Ye have feared the sword, and I will bring a sword upon you, saith the Lord Elohim. I will bring you out to the midst thereof, and deliver you into the hands of strangers, and I will execute judgments among you. Ye shall fall by the sword, I will judge you in the border of Israel, and ye shall know that I am Yahweh. This city shall not be your culture, neither shall ye be the flesh in the midst thereof. But I will judge you in the border of Israel, and ye shall know that I am Yahweh. For ye have not walked in my statutes, neither executed my judgments, but have done after the manners of the heathen that are round about you. It came to pass when I prophesied that Pelatiah, the son of Benaiah, died. Then fell I down upon my face and cried with a loud voice, and said, Ah, Lord Elohim, wilt thou make a full end of the remnant of Israel? Again the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, thy brethren, even thy brethren, the men of thy kindred, and all the house of Israel holy, are they unto whom the inhabitants of Jerusalem have said, Get you far from Yahweh, unto us is the land given in possession. Therefore saith thus saith, the Lord Elohim, although I have cast them far off among the heathen, and although I have scattered them among the countries, yet will I be to them as a little sanctuary in the countries where they shall come. Wherefore say, Thus saith the Lord Elohim, I will even gather you from the people, and assemble you out of the countries where ye have been scattered, and I will give you the land of Israel. And they shall come thither, and they shall take away the detestable things thereof, and all the abominations thereof from thence. And I will give them one heart, and I will put a new spirit within you, and I will take the stony heart out of their flesh, and I will give them a heart of flesh. That they may walk my statutes, and keep my ordinances, and do them, and they shall be my people, and I will be their Elohim. But as for them whose heart walketh after the heart of the detestable things and their abominations, I will recompense their way upon their own heads, saith the Lord Elohim. Then did the cherubims lift up their wings, and the wheels beside them, and the glory of the Elohim of Israel was over them above. And the glory of Yahweh went up from the midst of the city, and stood upon the mountain which is on the east side of the city. Afterwards the Spirit took me up, and brought me in a vision by the Spirit of Elohim into Chaldea to them of the captivity. So the vision that I had seen went up from me. Then I spake unto them of the captivity all the things that Yahweh had showed me. Ezekiel 12, the word of Yahweh also came unto me, saying, Son of man, that dwellest in the midst of a rebellious house, which have eyes to see and see not, and they have ears to hear and hear not, for they are a rebellious house. Therefore, thou son of man, prepare thee stuff for, for removing, and remove by day in their sight, and thou shalt remove from thy place to another place in their sight, and it may be they will consider though they be a rebellious house. Then shalt thou bring forth thy stuff by day in their sight, and stuff for removing, and thou shalt go forth at even in their sight, as they that go forth into captivity. Dig thou through the wall in their sight, and carry out thereby. In their sight shalt thou bear it upon thy shoulders, and carry it forth in the twilight. Thou shalt also cover thy face, that thou see not the ground, for I have set thee for a sign unto the house of Israel. And I did so as I was commanded. I brought forth my stuff by day, and 
stuff for captivity in the evening. Even I digged through the wall with my hand, and I brought it forth in the twilight, and I bare it upon my shoulder in their sight. And in the morning came the word of Yahweh unto me, saying, Son of man, hath not the house of Israel, the rebellious house, said unto me, What doest thou? Say thou unto them, Thus saith the Lord Elohim, This burden concerneth the prince of Jerusalem and all the house of Israel that are among them. Say, I am your sign, like as I have done, and so shall it be done unto them. They shall remove and go into captivity, and the prince that is among them shall bear upon his shoulder in the twilight, and shall go forth, and they shall dig through the wall to carry out thereby, and he shall cover his face that he see not the ground with his eyes. And it also will I spread upon him, and he shall be taken in by in my snare, and I will bring him into Babylon, to the land of the Chaldeans, yet shall he not see it, though he shall die there. And I will scatter toward every wind all that are about him to help him, and all his bands, and I will draw out the sword after them. And they shall know that I am Yahweh, when I shall scatter them among the nations and disperse them in the countries. But I will leave a few men of them from the sword, and from the famine, and from the pestilence, that they may declare all their abominations among the heathen, whither they come, and they shall know that I am Yahweh. Moreover, the word of Yahweh came to me, saying, Son of man, eat thy bread with quaking, and drink thy water with trembling and with carefulness. And saying to the people of the land, Thus saith the Lord Elohim of the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and of the land of Israel, they shall eat their bread with carefulness, and drink their water with astonishment, that her land may be desolate from all that is therein, because of the violence of them all that dwell therein. And the cities that are inhabited shall be laid waste, and the land shall be desolate, and ye shall know that I am Yahweh. And the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, what is that proverb that ye have in the land of Israel, saying, The days are prolonged, and every vision faileth? Tell them therefore, Thus saith the Lord Elohim, I will make this proverb to cease, and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel, but say unto them, The days are at hand, and the effect of every vision. There shall be no more any vain vision, nor flattering divination within the house of Israel. For I am Yahweh, I will speak, and the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. It shall be no more prolonged, for in your days, O rebellious house, will I say the word, and will perform it, saith the Lord Elohim. Again the word of Yahweh came to me, saying, Son of man, behold, they of the house of Israel say, The vision that he seeth is for many days to come, and he prophesieth of the times that are far off. Therefore say unto them, Thus saith the Lord Elohim, There shall none of my words be prolonged any more, but the word which I have spoken shall be done, saith the Lord Elohim. Ezekiel 13 And the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the prophets of Israel that prophesy, and say thou unto them that prophesy out of their own hearts. Hear ye the word of Yahweh. Thus saith the Lord Elohim, Woe unto the foolish prophets that follow their own spirit and have seen nothing. O Israel, thy prophets are like the foxes in the desert. Ye have not gone up into the gaps, neither made up the hedge for the house of Israel to stand in the battle in the day of Yahweh. They have seen vanity and lying divination, saying, The Lord saith, and Yahweh hath not sent them. And they have made others to hope that they would confirm the word. Have ye not seen a vain vision, and have ye not spoken a lying divination? Whereas ye say, Yahweh saith it, albeit I, I have not spoken. Therefore thus saith the Lord Elohim, because ye have spoken vanity and seen lies, therefore behold I am against you, saith the Lord Elohim. And mine hand shall be upon the prophets that see vanity, and that divine lies, and they shall not be in the assembly of my people, neither shall they be written in the writing of the house of Israel, neither shall they enter into the land of Israel. And ye shall know that I am the Lord Elohim, because even because they have seduced my people, saying, Peace, and there was no peace. And one built up a wall, and lo, others daubed it with untempered mortar, saying to them which daub it with untempered mortar, that it shall fall, there shall be an overflowing shower, and ye, O great hailstone, shall fall, and a stormy wind shall rend it. Lo, when the wall is fallen, shall it not be said unto you, Where is the daubing wherewith ye have daubed it? Therefore thus saith the Lord Elohim, I will even rend it with a stormy wind in my fury, and there shall be an overflowing shower in mine anger, and great hailstones in my fury to concern it. I will break down the wall that ye have daubed with untempered mortar, and bring it down to the ground, so that the foundation thereof shall be discovered, and it shall fall, and ye shall be consumed in the midst thereof, and ye shall know that I am Yahweh.
Thus will I accomplish my wrath upon the wall and upon them that have daubed it with untempered mortar, and will say unto you, The wall is no more, neither they that daubed it. To which the prophets of Israel which prophesy concerning Jerusalem, and which see visions of peace for her, and there is no peace, saith the Lord Elohim. Likewise, thou son of man, set thy face against the daughters of thy people, which prophesy out of their own heart, and prophesy thou against them. And say, Thus saith the Lord Elohim, Woe to the women that sew pillows to all armholes, and made kerchiefs upon the head of every statue to hunt souls. Will ye hunt the souls of my people? And will ye save the souls alive that come unto you? And will ye pollute me among my people for handfuls of barley and for pieces of bread to slay the souls that should not die and to save the souls alive that should not live by your lying to my people that, ye, that hear your lies? Wherefore thus saith the Lord Elohim, Behold, I am against your pillars wherewith ye there hunt the souls to make them fly, and I will tear them from your arms and let the souls go, even the souls that ye hunt to make them fly. Your kerchiefs also will I tear and deliver my people out of your hand, and they shall be no more in your hand to be hunted, and ye shall know that I am Yahweh. Because with lies ye have made the heart of the righteous sad, whom I have not made sad, and strengthened the hands of the wicked, that he should not return from his wicked way, by promising him life. Wherefore ye shall see no more vanity, nor divine divinations. For I will deliver my people out of your hand, and ye shall know that I am Yahweh. Ezekiel 14 then came certain of the elders of Israel unto me, and sat before me, and the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, these men have set up their idols in their heart, and put stumbling block of their iniquity before their face. Should I be inquired of at all by them? Therefore speak unto them, and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord Elohim, Every man of the house of Israel that setteth up his idols in his heart, and putteth the stumbling block of his iniquity before his face, and cometh to the prophet, I, Yahweh, will answer him that cometh according to the multitude of his idols, that I may take the house of Israel in their own heart, because they are all estranged from the, me through their idols. Therefore say unto the house of Israel, Thus saith the Lord Elohim, Repent and turn yourselves from idols, and turn away your faces from all your abominations. For every one of the house of Israel, or of the stranger that sojourneth in Israel, which separateth himself from me, and setteth up his idols in his heart, and putteth the stumbling block of his iniquity before his face, and cometh to a prophet to inquire of him concerning me, I, Yahweh, will answer him by myself. And I will set my face against that man, and will make him a sign and a proverb, and will cut him off from the midst of my people, and ye shall know that I am Yahweh. And if the prophet be deceived when he hath spoken a thing, I, Yahweh, have deceived that prophet, and I will stretch out my hand upon him, and will destroy him from the midst of my people Israel. And they shall bear the punishment of their iniquity, and the punishment of the prophet shall be even as the punishment of him that seeketh unto him. That the house of Israel may go no more astray from me, neither be polluted any more with all their transgressions, but that they may be my people, and I may be their Elohim, saith the Lord Elohim. The word of Yahweh came again to me, saying, Son of man, when thou when the land sinneth against me by trespassing grievously, then will I stretch out mine hand upon it, and will break the staff of the bread thereof, and will send famine upon it, and will cut off man and beast from it. Though these three, Noah, Daniel, and Job, were in it, they should deliver but their own souls by their righteousness, saith the Lord Elohim. If I cause noisome beasts to pass through the land, and they spoil it so that it be desolate, that no man may pass through because of the beasts. Though these three men were in it, as I live, saith the Lord Elohim, they shall deliver neither sons nor daughters, they shall only be delivered, but the land shall be desolate. Or if I bring a sword upon that land, and say, Sword, go through the land, so that I cut off man and beast from it, though these three were in it, as I live, saith the Lord Elohim, they shall deliver neither sons nor daughters, but they only shall be delivered themselves. Or if I send a pestilence into that land, and pour out my fear upon it in blood, to cut off from it man and beast, the Noah, Daniel, and Job were in it, as I live, saith the Lord Elohim. They shall deliver neither son nor daughter, they shall but deliver their own souls by their righteousness. For thus saith the Lord Elohim, How much more when I send my four sword judgments upon Jerusalem, the sword, the famine, the noise, and beast, and the pestilence, to cut off from it man and beast. 
Yet behold, therein shall be a left a remnant that shall be brought forth, both sons and daughters. Behold, they shall come forth unto you, and ye shall see their way and their doings, and ye shall be comforted concerning the evil that I have brought upon Jerusalem, even concerning all that I have brought upon it. And they shall comfort you when ye see their ways and their doings, and ye shall know that I have not done without a cause, and that I have done in it, saith the Lord Elohim. Ezekiel 15. And the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, what is the vine tree more than the, any tree, or than a branch which is among the trees of the forest? Shall wood be taken thereof to do any work, or will men take a pen of it to hang any vessel thereon? Behold, it is cast into the fire for fuel. The fire devoureth both the ends of it and the midst of it is burned. Is it meat for any work? Behold, when it was whole, it was meat for no work. How much less shall it be meat yet for any work, when the fire hath devoured it, and it is burned? Therefore thus saith the Lord Elohim, As the vine tree among the trees of the forest which I have given to the fire for fuel, so will I give the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And I will set my face against them, they shall go out from one fire, and another fire shall devour them. And ye shall know that I am Yahweh, when I set my face against them, and I will make the land desolate, because they have committed a trespass, saith the Lord Elohim. Ezekiel 16 Again the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, cause Jerusalem to know her abominations, and say, Thus saith the Lord Elohim unto Jerusalem, Thy birth and thy Thy nativity is of the land of Canaan. Thy father was an Amorite, and thy mother a Hittite. As for thy nativity, in the day that thou wast born, thy navel was not cut, and neither wast thou washed in the water to supple thee. Thou wast not salted at all, nor swaddled at all. None I pity thee to do any of these unto thee, to have compassion upon thee. But thou wast cast in, out in the open field to the loathing of thy person in the day that thou wast born. And when I passed by thee, I saw thee polluted in thine own blood, and I said unto thee, When thou wast in thy blood, live. Yea, I said unto thee, When thou wast in thy blood, live. I have caused thee to multiply as the bud of a field, and thou hast increased and waxen great, and thou art come to excellent ornaments. Thy breasts are fashioned, and thine hair is grown, whereas thou wast naked and bare. Now when I passed by thee, and looked upon thee, behold, thy time was the time of love, and I spread my skirt over thee, and covered thy nakedness, yea, I swear unto thee, and I entered into a covenant with thee, saith the Lord Elohim, and thou becamest mine. Then I washed thee with water, yea, I thoroughly washed away the blood from thee, and I anointed thee with oil. I clothed thee also with broidered work, and shod thee with badger skin, and I girded thee about with fine linen, and I covered thee with silk. I decked thee also with ornaments, and I put bracelets upon thy hands, and a chain on thy neck. And I put a jewel on thy forehead, and earrings in thy ears, and a beautiful crown upon thine head. Thus wast thou decked with gold and silver, and thy raiment was of fine linen, and silk, and broidered work. Thou didst eat fine flour, and honey, and oil, and thou wast exceeding beautiful, and thou didst prosper into a kingdom. And thy renown went forth among the heathen for thy beauty, and it was perfect through my comeliness, which I had put upon thee, saith the Lord Elohim. But thou didst trust in thine own beauty, and playedst the hearted harlot because of thine renown, and pourest out thy fornications on every one that passed by, his it was. And of thy garments thou didst take, and deckest thy high places with diverse colors, and playedst the harlot thereupon. The like things shall not come, neither shall it be so. Thou hast also taken thy fair jewels of my gold and my silver, which I had given thee, and madest them to thyself images of men, and didst commit whoredom with them, and tookest thy broidered garments, and coverest them, and thou hast set mine oil and mine incense before them. My meat also which I gave thee, fine flour, oil, and honey, wherewith I fed thee, thou hast set, even set it before them, for a sweet savour, and thus it was, saith the Lord Elohim. Moreover thou hast taken thy sons and thy daughters, whom thou hast borne unto me, and these hast thou sanctified unto thee to be devoured. Is this of thy whoredoms a small matter? That thou hast slain my children, and delivered them to cause them to pass through the fire for them? And in all thy abominations and thy whoredoms thou hast not remembered the days of thy youth, when thou wast naked and bare, and wast polluted in thy blood? And it came to pass after all thy wickedness, Woe, woe unto thee, saith the Lord Elohim. But thou hast also built unto thee an eminent place, and hast made thee a high place in every street. 
Thou hast built thy high place at every head of the way, and hast made thy beauty to be abhorred, but hast opened thy feet to every one that passed by, and multiplied thy whoredoms. Thou hast also committed fornication with the Egyptians, thy neighbors, great of flesh, and hast increased thy whoredoms, to provoke me to anger. Behold, therefore, I have stretched out mine hand over thee, and have diminished thine ordinary food, and delivered thee into the will of them that hate thee, the daughters of the Philistines, which are ashamed of thy lewd way. Thou hast played the whore also with the Assyrians, because thou wast unsatiable. Yea, thou hast played the harlot with them, and yet couldst not be satisfied. Thou hast moreover multiplied thy fornication in the land of Canaan unto Chaldea, and yet thou wast not satisfied herewith. How weak is thine heart, saith the Lord Elohim, seeing thou doest all these things, the work of an imperious, whorish woman, at that. in that thou buildest thine eminent place in the head of every way, and makest thine high place in every street, and hast not been as an harlot, in that thou scornest hire, but as a wife that committeth adultery, which taketh strangers instead of her husband. They give gifts to all whores, but thou givest thy gifts to all thy lovers, and hirest them, that they may come unto thee on every side, for thy whoredom. And on the contrary is thee from other women in thy whoredoms, whereas none followeth thee to commit whoredoms, and that thou givest a reward, and no reward is given unto thee. Therefore thou art contrary. Wherefore, O harlot, hear the word of Yahweh. Thus saith the Lord Elohim, because thy filthiness was poured out, and thy nakedness discovered through thy whoredoms with thy lovers, and with all the idols of thy abominations, and by the blood of thy children which thou didst give unto them. Behold, therefore, I will gather all thy lovers with whom thou hast taken pleasure, and all them that thou hast loved, with all them that thou hast hated. I will even gather them round about against thee, and will discover thy nakedness unto them, that they may see all thy nakedness. And I will judge thee, as women that break wedlock and shed blood are judged, and I will give thee blood and fury and jealousy. And I will also give thee into their hand, and they shall throw down thine eminent place, and shall break down thy high places, and shall strip thee also of thy clothes, and shall take thy fair jewels, and leave thee naked and bare. They shall also bring up a company against thee, and they shall shall stone thee with stones, and thrust thee through with their swords. They shall burn thine houses with fire, and execute judgments upon thee in the sight of many women, and I will cause thee to cease from playing the harlot, and thou shalt also give no hire any more. So will I make my fury toward thee to rest, and my jealousy shall depart from thee, and I will be quiet, and will be no more angry. Because thou hast not remembered the days of thy youth, but hast fretted me in all these things, behold, therefore, I also will recompense thy way upon thine head, saith the Lord Elohim, and thou shalt not commit to this lewdness above all thine abominations. Behold, every one that useth proverb shall use this proverb against thee, saying, As is the mother, so is her daughter. Thou art thy mother's daughter, that loatheth her husband and her children. Thou art the sister of thy sisters, which loathed her husbands and their children. Your mother was a Hittite, and your father an Amorite. And thine elder sister is Samaria, she and her daughters that dwell at thy left hand, and thy younger sister that dwelleth at her right hand, is Sodom and her daughters. Yet hast thou not walked after their ways, nor done after their abominations, but, as if that were a very little thing, thou wast corrupted more than they in all thy ways. As I live, saith the Lord Elohim, Sodom thy sister hath not done, she nor her daughters, as thou hast done, thou and thy daughters. Wow, can you imagine that? He's literally saying that Sodom, basically that Sodom and Gomorrah, how evil they were, that Jerusalem and um, the children of Israel basically did worse, worse than Sodom and Gomorrah, if you can even imagine that. It's crazy. Ezekiel 16, 49. Behold, this was the iniquity of thy sister Sodom, pride, fullness of bread, and abundance of idleness was in her and her daughters. Neither did she strengthen the hand of the poor and needy, and they were haughty and committed abomination before me. Therefore I took them away as I saw good. Neither hast Samaria committed half of thy sins, but thou hast multiplied thine abominations more than they, and hast justified thy sisters in all thine abominations which thou hast done. Thou also which hast judged thy sisters, bear thine own shame for thy sins that thou hast committed more abominable than they. They are more righteous than thou, yea, be thou confounded also, and bear thy shame, in that thou hast justified thy sisters. When I shall bring again their captivity, the captivity of Sodom and her daughters, and the captivity of Samaria and her daughters, 
Then will I bring again the captivity of thy captives in the midst of them, that thou mayest bear thine own shame, and mayest be confounded in all that thou hast done, in that thou art a comfort unto them, when thy sister Sodom and her daughters shall return to their former estate, and Samaria and her daughters shall return to their former estate, then thou and thy daughters shall return to your former estate, for thy sister Sodom was not mentioned by thy mouth in the day of thy pride, before thy wickedness was discovered, as at the time of thy reproach of the daughters of Syria, and that all and all that are round about her, the daughters of the Philistines, which despise thee round about. Thou hast borne the lewdness and thine abomination, saith Yahweh. For thus saith the Lord Elohim, I will even deal with thee as thou hast done, which hast despised the oath in breaking the covenant. Nevertheless, I will remember my covenant with thee in the days of thy youth, and I will establish unto thee an everlasting covenant. Then thou shalt remember thy ways, and be ashamed, and when thou shalt receive thy sisters, thine older and thy younger, and I will give them unto thee for daughters, but not by thy covenant. I will establish my covenant with thee, and thou shalt know that I am Yahweh that thou mayest remember and be confounded and never open thy mouth any more because of thy shame when I am pacified toward thee for all that thou hast done saith the Lord Elohim Ezekiel 17 and the word of Yahweh came unto me saying son of man put forth a riddle and speak a parable unto the house of Israel and say thus saith the Lord Elohim a great eagle with wings, long-winded, full of feathers, which had diverse colors, came unto Lebanon and took the highest branch of the cedar. He cropped off the top of his young twigs and carried it into the land of traffic, and he set it in a city of merchants. He, also, he took also of the seed of the land and planted it in a fruit field. He placed it by a great waters and set it as a willow tree, and it grew and became a spreading vine of low stature, whose branches turned toward him and the roots there of were under him so it became a vine and brought forth branches and shot forth sprigs there was also another great eagle with great wings and many feathers and behold this vine did bend her roots toward him and shot forth her branches toward him that he might water it by the furrows of her plantation it was planted in good soil by great waters that it might bring forth branches that it might bear fruit that it might be a goodly vine say thou thus saith the lord elohim it shall prosper Shall he not pull up the roots thereof, and cut off the fruit thereof, that it wither? It shall wither in all the leaves of her spring, even without great power, many people to pluck it up by the roots thereof. Yea, behold, being planted, shall it prosper? Shall it not utterly wither when the east wind toucheth it? It shall wither in the furrows where it grew. Moreover the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Say now to the rebellious house, Know ye not what these things mean? Tell them, Behold, the king of Babylon is come to Jerusalem, and hath taken the king thereof, and the princes thereof, and led them with him to Babylon. He hath taken of the king's seed, and made of a covenant with him, and hath taken an oath of him, and hath also taken the mighty of the land, that the kingdom might not might be base, that it might not lift itself up, but that by keeping of his covenant it might stand. But he rebelled against him, and sending his ambassadors into Egypt, that he, they might give him horses and much people. Shall he prosper? Shall he escape that doeth such things? Or shall he break the covenant and be delivered? As I live, saith the Lord Elohim, surely in the place where the king dwelleth that made him king whose oath he despised, and whose covenant he break, even with him in the midst of Babylon he shall die. Either shall Pharaoh with his mighty army and great company make for him in the war, by casting up mounts and building forts to cut off many persons, seeing he despised the oath by breaking the covenant, when, lo, he had given his hand, and hath done all these things, he shall not escape. Therefore thus saith the Lord Elohim, As I live, surely mine oath that he hath despised, and my covenant that he hath broken, even it will I recompense upon his own head. And I will spread my net upon him, and he shall be taken in my snare, and I will bring him to Babylon, and, and will plead with him there for his trespass that he had trespassed against me and all his fugitives with all his band shall fall by the sword and they that remain shall be scattered toward all winds and ye shall know that i yahweh have spoken it thus saith the lord elohim i will also take of the highest branch of the high cedar and will set it i will crop off from the top of his young twigs a tender one will plant upon a high mountain and eminent 
the mountain of the height of Israel will I plant it, and it shall bring forth bows, and bear, bear fruit, and be a goodly cedar. And under it, it shall dwell all the fowl of every, of every wing, and the shadow of the branches thereof shall they dwell. And all the trees of the, of the field shall know that I, Yahweh, have brought down the high tree, have exalted the low tree, and have dried up the green tree, and have made the dry tree to flourish. I, Yahweh, have spoken, and have done it. Okay. Well... That's going to be it for today. Thanks for joining me. Hope you guys have a great evening, morning, noon, wherever you're at. And as always, TTFN, ta-ta for now. Take care. God bless. Remember to put God first in everything you do. Have faith in Him. Have trust in Him. And wait upon Him. You'll never be sorry. So there's a little bit, well, a little bit more left of Ezekiel. And uh, in uh, the future days, we're actually going to be reading a lot more. But, um... We're going to be squeezing in a lot in the next seven days. So be ready for that. So see you tomorrow. God willingly. Thanks again. Have a good one. See you later.